Hey, this is Pete. Thanks for checking out my channel and this week's blues guitar tutorial. So I was playing some Slim Harpo, one of his classic hits called Baby Scratch My Back in the key of F major. I've got my Strat plugged in and I've got the tremolo set high. I'm using a pedal in this case. Of course, you could just uh, use the built-in tremolo on a classic Fender amp. That would sound great as well. So this is a 12 bar blues progression and um, I found two parts to this song. There's the tremolo part which has a melodic head and a short guitar solo as well. The second guitar part is a rhythm guitar. Alright, so we'll get started with the tutorial and remember that you can subscribe to my channel for these weekly guitar lessons. Scratch my back. <laughs> All right, this is a 12 bar blues in the key of F major. I've got the tremolo set and I'm playing this Strat here. I'm not sure that it uh, makes a big difference on what pickup you're on, but I'm on the bass pickup for reference. So what I'm going to be doing here is playing this melodic head, which is really just uh, following a uh, dominant 7 chord, like so. <laughs> got a bit of a push into the root. Alright, so just doing a bit of a slide, I guess you could do a hammer as well. I guess it's a preference in listening closely. Um, it's hard to tell whether it's a slide or a hammer on. Besides, uh, I do it my own way anyway. So. <laughs> You can do the same. All right, when we move to the four, it's the same thing. I'm just going to the uh, B flat. And the five follows, same thing. All right, and it hangs on the one, so it doesn't resolve to the five on this on this particular uh, 12 bar. So the song actually starts with a harmonica for the first two bars. Um, so the guitar picks up on the third bar. So that's why it seems like there's a real quick change happening, but uh, it's accounted for in the harmonica intro. <laughs> I did an approximation of the guitar solo. It's uh, 24 bars long and I say approximation because really that's the way I play and um, obviously it was originally improvised so when I'm gonna do a take on that uh, I really wanna try to get the feel more than anything. The feel and I'm gonna phrase it in my own way anyway so um, I would definitely uh, encourage you all to go that route as well. If anybody wants to learn this note for note, well, that's uh, totally acceptable as well. More than acceptable. Whatever your preference is. All right, so uh, what's happening there is uh, uh, just basically the first position uh, pentatonic scale. So really just... <laughs> Uh, 
There's some bending on this third G string. All right, so it's really just improvised and off the first position pentatonic scale. Um, maybe a little bit of a movement into the second position. All right, so a little bit more on this style. If you're interested in that style of lead guitar, you'll hear uh, Jimmy Vaughn playing that quite a bit, including on the uh, the great version that the fabulous Thunderbirds do of this uh, as a cover. All right, so that first uh, 12 bar finishes, and then we go into this classic uh, little uh, lick that uh, Slim Harper was doing. And he just keeps repeating that all the way through the 12 bar section. <laughs> so what that is is call and response between the vocal part and then uh, the response being this, uh, this guitar figure. All right, so I'm just doing downstrokes on that. And I'm bending. So that's the chicken scratch part. The other guitar part is a rhythm part and just playing through the chords with a bit of a funky style. So just playing through the chords like so. So you can really hear that rhythm guitar part well while the other guitar player is playing the solo on the original recording. So that's kind of an interesting rhythm and just following the chords on that and no tremolo on that part. So it's just a straight ahead, uh, straight sounding guitar part. Thanks again for checking this video out. I hope you got some ideas on the Slim Harpo sound especially that using a tremolo effect on the guitar. It's an early 1960s sound based off of the Excello Records label. Definitely check out some of Slim Harpo's work and some of the other artists on that uh, great label, Excello, from the Deep South. All right, so thanks again, and remember to subscribe to my channel for these weekly blues guitar tutorials. We'll see you again soon.